actually see that very easily graphically. So uh, let me show you that uh, graphically. So let's start by drawing a recession, a slump. So in our uh, standard labor market diagram. So by slump, what I mean is a labor market with low demand. Low labor demand. You know, we know that recessions are occurred in which there is high unemployment and uh, you know, low uh, vacancies uh, and that's this type of, of, of recession that are caused by, by low labor demand. Okay? Um, so in Islam we have low labor demand. So how does the labor market look? So uh, we're going to put <coughs> the labor supply. Then we're going to put the uh, labor demand, the aggregate labor demand, so let's say I'm going to put it something like this. Okay, so that's LD of theta, private labor demand plus G, public labor demand. Okay, and as you can see here, so that's my equilibrium. Here I have a lot of, you know, tightness is very low. So there's a lot of unemployment. Okay, unemployment is really high here. So we have a slump with low labor demand. So now what happens if I increase G by an amount DG? Okay, so there is an increase in public employment by some quantity DG. Okay, so, um, so that's going to shift out the labor demand initially by a quantity DG. So let's, let's draw that. So let's say DG is big like this. Okay, so let's say that this quantity here that I've drawn, this is DG. Okay. So this is my increase in, uh, in public employment, you know, that's a certain number of workers. That's going to shift the entire labor demand. Okay. So we can draw a curve now that's going to be um, parallel to the one we had. So it's going to be parallel to the one we had, uh, but DG further out. So let's try to draw that. Okay, not too bad. Okay, so this is the new labor demand, so it's LD, labor demand of theta, plus G, plus DG. Okay, all right, this is the new labor demand. But so you can see, so um, if tightness had stayed at the original level, which is here, So if tightness had stayed at the level theta, of course, uh, I mean, you know, we would be, if tightness had been the same, we would have this amount, uh, we would be here, so we would have this amount of extra uh, employment. Okay? But here you can see what happens is that indeed in equilibrium, the new equilibrium is here, so it's at a higher tightness, and you can see that. Um, so, you 
initially total employment was here. Here, the new quantity that we have here, this quantity is just the old employment plus DG, because we've just increased employment by DG. But this L plus DG, this is not the new equilibrium, because in equilibrium we have a higher, we have a new tightness that's higher. And in fact, this the movement from this point here along the labor demand, this is the crowding out that's going to happen. The fact that in equilibrium tightness has to go up and that's going to we're going to move up the labor demand but in the wrong direction, that's because uh, private employment is falling as tightness is going up. So this is actually crowding out. And so this quantity here which is, you know, the level of employment we would have had without the crowding out. And this quantity here, this reduction in employment here, that we have here, which is a negative, that's actually the reduction in private employment. So this is D, L, D is the private labor demand. Okay, and, that, and that's actually negative, so it goes in the wrong direction. That tends to reduce employment. Okay, so this is the total amount of crowding out. Okay, so G goes up, but private labor demand LD goes down, such that, uh, but overall, Overall, still, that's quite a big positive effect of uh, public employment. So we are going to move from this to this here. So this big increase in employment, um, that's actually DL. And the L is quite, uh, is quite big, so the L, that's the increase in, the, in total employment. And um, of course, because all increase in employment are the same as a reduction in unemployment, that's also the reduction in unemployment. Okay. Uh, DLD on the other hand that's a reduction in private employment. Okay, but so here what we can see is that crowding out is actually not that big. Okay, and the idea is that basically the labor supply is very flat uh, when there is uh, in slum when there's a lot of unemployment. So your labor supply is very flat, uh, you know, uh, geometrically. So that actually when you move the labor demand out, the increase in tightness is kind of low. Basically, there's a lot of unemployment. So by posting some some new vacancies, you don't have a big effect on tightness, and as a result, um, you don't have much of an increase in tightness. Therefore, you don't have much of a crowding out and a reduction in private labor demand. And so, overall, there is quite a big effect on employment of the initial increase in public employment. And we can see it here. Uh, so, tightness hasn't increased much. This is theta plus d theta. This is d theta and it's, so it's positive, of course. When you post 
uh, new job in the public sector to increase tightness, but the increase uh, is not very big. Okay, so there is very little, uh, there is little crowding out. So crowding out here is small. Oops. Okay, so there's only small crowding out here. Okay, so that's a slum. So slum, very flat labor supply, small increase in tightness, um, small crowding out, and so big multiplier. Okay. So the LDG, if you want, is close to one. 